So not all strange food comes from Japan. Not all of it. Hey everybody, well today I'm in my office, I don't have all of my stuff and so we get a little background noise from this computer and that computer and this one here is not making any noise yet, but I'm sure it will, it'll squeak or something before the end of the, before the, end of the video. But on my campus, once a week, I believe, on Friday, uh, Mr. Donut, Mr. Donut comes to for a visit. And uh, this week he brought uh, the Mr. Croissant Donut. I believe in the U.S. these are referred to as cronuts, but I have never seen one since I live in Japan and under a rock. Uh, so I'm like, well, let's see what they got and let's uh, try one, two, two. So let's take a look at what we get first. In the bag, drop down here a little bit, we have the white chocolate cronut. There you go. Looks pretty good. There's a space for stuff in the middle, and it's got nuts on top. We will set that one right on the M audio. And the other one is caramel. And um, yeah, and that looks pretty decent too. So we have cronut one with the white chocolate, and we have cronut two with the maple on the top, maple caramel. And uh, I've never had one of these before, so this will be hopefully interesting. But I also have the most important thing today, and that is my coffee. My coffee, because I have awesome friends, is Donut House coffee. I got a Keurig uh, coffee maker for a uh, present last year, and this is the coffee that I will be drinking today. And this is the coffee that I usually drink in class. And I ordered both of those through theflyingpig.com, so go check them out. Tell them I sent you. So, let's, uh, let's try it. it. Smells very sweet. I'm sure that you've all had these before, but it's, it's new for me. What do you want? Oh, custard. The inside is custard. And... Maple cream, perhaps. It's pretty good. I imagine it is a ton of calories. And a, yeah. But, and really sweet. Mm. All right. I will deal with you later. Mm. All right, there's one. A little palate cleanser. All right, next up, maple. That's a maple cream, All right? You can see here, we got a little angel cream. That's what they call it, angel cream, in there. And I had to forgive, forgo my angel cream stuffed um, donut today, because I got these. Mmm. Again, that's really sweet. You can see the cream inside, and it is quite tasty. And um, yeah, that's pretty happy. Mm. I'll take two bites out of that. A little messy. <laughs> there are two really great things about Mr. Donut uh, coming into campus is one, it's on the way back from lunch, so it's a very nice dessert, and two, they're not here every day, otherwise I would weigh a thousand pounds. If you have a Mr. Donut in your neighborhood, it is definitely worth the time to go check out the croissant donut. It's very flaky, so don't eat it at your house or eat it over a table, not over the floor. If you are overseas and have had cronuts and croissant donuts for months or years, then good for you. But they're new here. And so it also proves that strange food does not only come from Japan. We can get it from the U.S. too. I think that's pretty much it for today. So, um, oh yes, a couple of things. Uh, go check out r slash moronarmy on Reddit. If you have questions about Japan, lots of people there to be able to answer your questions, including myself. 
Uh, Jayland Kev has consolidated his channel. Go to youtube.com slash Jayland Kev. Uh, follow him on Twitter. Go check out Asian News Weekly on Twitter. Check out Molly's Place for long form uh, thoughts about Japan and teaching with him and Dave and the bedcast. And golly, I think that's about it for the moment. Oh, long form podcast. I did forget. Unrested has Ozuroshi Saturdays. So if you like being scared, go check those out. I will talk to you later.